Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you all. My paper's name is Spacecraft Electronic Database Test System Design. In the paper, I will introduce a way to automatically create a test system just by the information provided by a serial of standardized compliant electronic data sheets. In the past, each satellite has its own principles to design hardware and software interface. During the spacecraft design and uh, implementation process, the interface function and uh, compatibility between different devices or subsystems cannot be verified until most of integration work complete. By the way, lots of potential problems cannot be found at the first time. However, nowadays, the payload and the platform equipment by spacecraft is becoming more and more complex, and the manufacture period requirements are getting shorter and shorter. The satellite manufacturer industry must transform from classical type to productization. Spacecraft manufacturer tries multiple methods to achieve productization. One of the most effective way is known as spacecraft onboard interface. It is a series of standards for the interchange of information and the interconnection of subsystems and the device on board of a spacecraft. The standardization will allow for enhanced reuse of spacecraft equipment and software. CCSDS has been branching out to provide new standards on spacecraft onboard interface for many years. Recently, Chinese satellite manufacturers began to engage in this research too, and uh, has made a lot of meaningful attempts. For example, in order to mandate manufacturer following and applying the spacecraft onboard interface, Chinese Academy of Space Technology has developed an information system, which was called uh, Spacecraft Electronic Datasheet System. The system documented the spacecraft onboard interface and uh, standard protocol specific specifications in terms of an uh, electronic data sheet and uh, provide a channel fuel for data exchange. To maximize the productization advantage, our team developed a modular layer test system which will first extract structural information from the spacecraft electronic data sheet and uh, manually freely create appropriate processing components. It will connect each component together according to the spacecraft onboard interface. The whole testing environment creating procedure is not only a procedure of instance instantation of spacecraft data sheet model, but also a digital simulation process, which will provide a verification element for the correctness of the information, information exchange protocol and simulate the compatibility of each real device interface. Simultaneously, it can simulate and verify if the realization of the onboard hardware or software are consistent with the user requirements. The following section will explain how the component models can be created through the spacecraft electronic data sheets and how the test system will be established through these components. In order to effectively model the information provided by the spacecraft electronic datasheet, we observe it through three views. The first view is protocol view. The process of onboard software development can be described as a nested process. On the contrary, the process of the data processing by the test system can be modeled as a denesting process. The figure showing this slice describes the correspondence between protocol and the component model. 
from the figure, we can see that the protocol was depicted in five level and the, and accordingly the components are divided into three categories. They are specifically application components, data processing components, and uh, device driving components. The protocol will model abstract information flow as a list of data package. Each layer can be modeled as a data processing component. The function of these components is to decompose the current package to data segments and sub-packages and uh, assign correspondingly attributes to them. The second view is the service view. Each application programming interface must uh, bound to a set of uh, procedure and function calls to access service offered by spacecraft onboard interface. The service view models abstract onboard services as a set of components which correspond to the service access points exposed by the spacecraft onboard interface stack. The figure showed in this slides describe the services view of spacecraft electronic datasheet model. From the figure, we can see that uh, the services were divided into two layers, which are testing system building, built-in services and uh, the spacecraft electronic datasheet based uh, services. Each component corresponds to a particular category of protocol model components. The interoperable, uh, the interoperability view is different from the other two views. It has nothing to do with what the test system can do, but how to design a compliant hardware drive components which fits the standards proposed by the spacecraft onboard interface. The interoperability view model abstract the spacecraft hardware interface as a couple of standard hardware driven components. And the test system framework knows how to extract information provided by the spacecraft electronic dataset to instance and appropriate hardware driver, driver components. The figure shown in this slide describes the interoperability view of spacecraft electronic datasheet model. From the figure, we can see that device driver components can be divided in two categories. One is the onboard equipment. The other is the ground testing equipment components. Each category can mimic a set of standard hardware interface. The test system is composed of the system framework and, the, and a set of components which has different interface and functions. The system framework is the core part of the test system. It controls, manages, and uh, monitors the whole system. It is responsible for the tasks such as loading spacecraft electronic data sheets, managing instance components, rendering user interface, handling system exceptions and uh, logging system logs, etc. And the tasks that the framework is responsible for are system level and uh, have nothing to do with the testing business work. Each component was encapsulated as a dynamic library which process different interface and functions. There are 12 different categories of components. Each one deal with a specific kinds of work and process a set processes a set of input or output interface. The figure showed in this slide describes the procedure of establishing a test instance. Firstly, 
the framework load the physical layer Swisscraft electronic datasheet, which specifics which can, what kind of devices components will be instanced. The interface would uh, correspond to the standard of Swisscraft onboard interface. The interface of each component are depicted by a couple of properties called interface descriptor, including interface type, name, and uh, especially the successor Swisscraft electronic datasheet unique identify number. Then the system framework will instance the next component whose input interface will perfectly match the previous component's output interface. Similarly, the process will continue until all the spacecraft electronic datasets has been loaded sequentially. By then, all the components will be instanced correspondingly. Finally, according to each component's interface descriptor, the framework connects all the components together. The distinct pro properties of the spacecraft electronic datasheets based test the based test system are as following. No operator is needed in front of the test system establishment. Subjective arose by human data reading is a void. Realize a high efficiency, one key automatic test system is establishment. Typical application tests are carried out in integrated electronic subsystem functional tests of more than 10 spacecraft of five different fields. We found out that the spacecraft electronic datasheet based test system has some distinct property as follows. With the guidance of spacecraft electronic datasheets, the test system can correctly instance all the service components in order. Each component's interface can correctly reflect design requirements of the target machine's interface. Through all the experimental verification, the effects of the method proposed by the paper are as follows. The test system can satisfy the functional test request. The test system can provide all kinds of test data products. The functions and the interface of each component are designed in according uh, are designed in accordance with the common requirements of spacecraft development and the standard interface specifications. The test system is helpful in early verification of the spacecraft system interface design. Summarize the information given above. We we can draw the conclusion as follows. This test system is helpful in giving better design support, can automatically create according to the information provided by the spacecraft electronic datasheets and the manual intervention free. The test system instance matchable device components by extracting information from the electronic datasheets hardware interface adopter free, reduce integration cost, and uh, increase the reuse reach of the testing case of a similar spacecraft testing procedure. My report is 
Au revoir. Thank you.